Hi, my name is Ashish and this is another video for Azure 70-533 exam series for Microsoft Azure. In this video, we'll see how to create an internal load balancer by using the Azure PowerShell. We know we can create this stuff using the Azure portal, but uh, let me tell you first thing that we'll do, we'll create an internal load balancer using the Azure PowerShell. Let me just quickly open PowerShell Integrated System Environment, which is PowerShell IAC in, in admin mode, and then we'll take over from there. Okay, well, this is my ISC, as you know, this is Azure Microsoft PowerShell IAC. I have already installed my Azure PowerShell module, and I'll see if I have to install my Azure Networking PowerShell module as well. So let me just quickly log on to my account. Okay, well, this is connect Azure RM account. I believe I should have used login Azure RM account, but it's same thing. It'll ask me to sign into my account. Wonderful. So we Azure at live.com. I quite use sometimes multiple accounts that why it take some of the time if I remember my password. It should be connected. All right, it finally connected my account name, my subscription my subscription ID, my tenant ID, and environment I have is Azure Cloud. So, you see, I have marked this as a comment. I've placed a pound in front of my first uh, line. Let me just, okay, I hope it's clear now. A reason either I can select it and then run this option, run selection, or if I do not have to care about this run selection part, I can make a comment out of this line and run this. Okay, the reason I mentioned get Azure RM subscription because I only have one subscription in my account. Some of you would have multiple subscriptions under your account. So it's a good practice to connect to a specific subscription in which you'll do your work. Okay, I added this line as a comment. Okay, select Azure RM subscription minus, minus subscription ID, then the grid of the subscription that I picked up from here. It is done. Okay, now I'll make the resource group in which I'll make all the resources. That is new Azure RM resource group, hash name, name of the resource group, location, Central India. Okay, now I am making a new subnet using new Azure RM virtual network subnet configuration. This is the name of my subnet. This is the address prefix that I'm using. You can use any other prefix. And I'm storing this value in a variable called dash backend subnet. I'm creating a subnet in which I'll create a VNet. All right. Okay, after we created a subnet, I will create a VNet, a virtual network using new Azure RM virtual network. This is the name of my virtual network. I will place it in my resource group. Location would be Central India. Address prefix for my virtual network is this and subnet would be back in subnet because I created a subnet in the above command. All right. This command will take some time because it's creating a virtual network at the back end. 
Okay, so now I'll create a front end IP. This IP address would be responsible for the incoming request for my load balancer for it to uh, roll back the traffic onto the specific destinations. I'm using new Azure RM load balancer front end IP config. It's an inbuilt module that you'll use. Name, you specify the name of the front end. It is the name of a front end IP address. This is the address range. Subnet ID is my dollar VNet which I created here and dot subnet zero dot ID okay now I will create create a backend address pool to receive the request from the front end IP using this option all right Okay, now I'll create the configuration rules for probe and the load balancer. My first inbound NAT rule one is this, that I am making this rule name as RDP1. My front end IP configuration is my front end IP that I created here. And the protocol that it will use is TCP. Front end IP port is 344133389. I'm allowing the traffic on front end port 3441 and 3389 and uh, here I'm creating a health probe using new Azure RM balancer probe config. The name of my health probe is health probe request path is health probe dot ASPX. So you'll have to create a page that will be requesting and checking the health of probing my load balancer on the port 80 using the protocol HTTP time interval for it to check would be 15 seconds and probe count is 2. Next I am creating the load balancer rule using the name HTTP front end IP back end rest pool that I created above. Probe will be my health probe protocol TCP front end port 80. All right so these are the rules getting created. Now it's time for me to create the load balancer using the new Azure RM load balancer. I will create it in my Azure RG. Let's name it Azure load balancer. Location as we know is central India. And rest is same. Okay, now after creating the load balancer, I have to create the network interfaces which will receive my incoming traffic from my incoming request that will come. Okay. And after that, you can review your configuration by calling this variable. So if you will see, you have all of your configuration here. That the name of your load balancer is LBNIC1, resource group, location, your ID of the resource, your ETAC, provisioning state is uh, succeeded. You don't have any virtual machine assigned to this load balancer you have your IP configuration e tag subscription ID subnet your static IP your uh, NAT rule set you configured and you have not uh, using IP forwarding or accelerated networking that's why it's false so after that you can uh, create VMs, assign the network interface to this load balancer front end or back end IP addresses to uh, get the traffic distributed among two virtual machines at the back end. So I hope this was informative to you and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like all the videos. Till next time, have a great day ahead.